Do you have an AK-47 or a surplus firearm that has ugly wood? I'm going to show you this great product today from Birchwood Casey, this complete true oil gun stock finishing kit. And we're going to turn this firearm to something that you can be proud of. Stick around. So we've got the wood separated from our firearm. We're taking a look at the things that came in the Birchwood Casey kit. It came with some walnut stain, some stock and sheen conditioner, some true oil, You've got some steel wool, varying grits of sandpaper. It goes from 120 all the way up to a wet sanding 400. Came with some paper towels, instructions, and the rest is just up to you. Uh, I've done this process quite a few times. I usually don't use the uh, stock sheen conditioner and for a military firearm like this, we're not gonna use it. Uh, you're more than free to go ahead and use it if you want. There are instructions that come with it that can go over those steps. But for these purposes, we're just gonna be using walnut stain, the true oil. So let's get started. We're gonna start by sanding these down. We're gonna start with uh, like the 120 grit. And we're just going to knock this down and we're going to work up to uh, today we're going to go up to 280 that'll give us a, a nice soft smooth finish so just going to want to go with the grain and just keep going. Okay, so we finished with the 120. We're going to move up right now and go to the next one, which is going to be 180. So far, these are already starting to feel a whole lot better. All right, I think this is coming out pretty nice. I think we're going to go ahead and we're going to step it up now to the 280. This will be the final sanding step before we start applying some of the stain. I think these are looking really good right now. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, wipe these down with a little bit of acetone, try to clean off some of this extra sandpaper dust the sawdust just using some old lint free t-shirt rags I have laying around but boy the difference in the way that these feel is incredible they feel really good now I'm not an expert wood refinisher by any means but I've done several dozen m1 m1 carbine 1903 stocks over the years using this process and i've always been very pleased with it so just remember that i'm not a pro i just have a lot of experience with a product that i like and handguard is looking really nice I like to uh, start off with the uh, walnut stain uh, depending on I like my wood really dark so I could maybe add a little extra I mean if you like a lighter wood you can thin it down with some water and sometimes I'll even take some other types of stain to put over the top of it just to kind of get a richer darker a little bit more red color to it so we've got this pretty much cleaned up I think we're going to go ahead and start applying some stain. So we've got these wiped down really good. The acetone dried off rather quickly. We're going to start off with this walnut stain. Now this is a concentrate and it needs to be shooken or shaken. And uh, it says to mix equal parts of water with it. And I find for more of a military type look, I like to use it straight, straight out of the bottle. So we're just going to continue shaking this here. 
and uh, it came with these lint free cloths. We're just going to go ahead and apply this directly to that. This stuff is going to be very messy. Uh, if you don't want the stain on your hands, you might want to go use some gloves. You can see already the difference in those. And we're just going to keep applying coats after coats on these until we get a nice dark finish. Once we get to the desired color that we like, you're going to let these sit and dry overnight. And then we'll apply some true oil. And the improvement on this is drastically better than what it was. We're just going to let these soak up for the next 15 or 20 minutes and we're going to revisit and add another coat. Uh, these have been sitting now for about a, about an hour and we're going to go ahead and like how dark it's getting but I want it to be even darker yet so I'm just going to add a couple more coats here. So this is kind of where we're at right now. I had uh, put on five coats of the walnut stain. It wasn't coming out quite red enough. So I have this old stuff called Fair Trimmers Military Ox. And this is going to be oil based whereas uh, this stain was water based. So once I go to oil, I can't go back to water. But uh, this company, oh, probably 10 years ago or so, they had a limited edition red. And so this is kind of the stuff that I would use on my M1s. I would usually do a few coats of the, of the brown from the walnut and then follow it up with this Fair Tremors Military Ox Red. And I think that this is going to give me the results that I want for the AK. Um, you know, you just kind of have to experiment a little bit with color. If you're not getting the color you want, uh, you can go and get other colors to mix on top of it to get a darker color, to get a richer color, to get red. And so this will be the final coat of stain. And then tomorrow, after this is dried, we'll go through and we'll start with the true oil. And I'm going to really like, I think, the way that this is going to turn out. Well, it's been a day and uh, the hand guards are now dry. They look great. I love the color. Can't wait to see what these look like once we put the true oil on it. And so, alas, finally, what we're going to do is we are going to start applying the oil to these. And I'm going to be using a cloth, making sure I'm not using any frayed ends because I don't want any um, lint on the, uh, on the wood as it's curing. I'm just going to put some on this towel right now. Just going to wipe it with the grain. And this is going to give us a real good idea of what this is going to look like when it's done. Given that this is the first coat, it's going to soak it up pretty quick. And it'll dry pretty quick, probably within about an hour. Then we can come in with our next coat, which we can get a little bit more liberal with. And you know, this wood, from being so bleached and looking like a balsa wood has turned out to be actually a pretty decent looking handguard. Definitely going to be pleased the way this turns out. And for this next step, what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to apply some more true oil and I'm going to wet sand it. It'll help kind of knock up some of the, uh, the high spots so we get more of a, uh, a glossy feel to it. Right now it's kind of looking kind of matte. So we're just going to add another coat and then wet sand it and we'll just keep going from there.
want to take care not to uh, sand down too deep because you don't want to go down through the stain. We're just uh, trying to even out the top portion. I'm using very light pressure. So these have been curing for uh, for several days, and they are smooth and very nice. They're still a little bit more matte than what I want, so I'm going to add another coat of True Oil. See if I can get more of that lustrous shine. So hopefully this is going to be the the last of the oil. Oh yeah, these are the results that I was looking for. These are completely dried now. These have about uh, three coats of oil or so on them, dried up. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get these reinstalled onto the PAP 92 pistol. Take a look at the final results and see how it looks all put together. So here's the finished product using the Birchwood KC Complete True Oil Gunstock Finishing Kit. I couldn't be happier with the results. I got the red hue I was looking for with a little bit of alteration. I got the glossiness from the True Oil. It turned out extremely nice and smooth. I think it complements this firearm very well. You know, going back and looking at how it was in the beginning, you can see how bleached and blonde it was. It had no character to it whatsoever. Now this is a firearm you can be proud of on the firing range. So that's it from us here at Fire Mountain Outdoors. Remember folks, you can't take back a bullet and you never ever want to wish that you ever could. So make sure you follow the four basic safety rules. Stay safe, shoot straight. We'll catch you on the firing line. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.